I am recreating a site for a client and this site was made in 2016 I will recreate it using tw theme 2024 and a full site editing so here we see the archive page and on top of this image it has an, a category link that it uses so there are category links on top of each image here by default in WordPress we just kind of basically have something like this uh, but I have to then add the category link up top here in the right side of this image so we're going to blog, blog home page here I am uh, I selected the blog home and I will select the query loop be sure to select query loop down here and click replace and just basically add in whatever I feel fits the it's the closest to use so this is the one I then selected I will just reselect it and it is a featured image we see here I'm not able to put anything on top of the featured image but I can put a cover block instead of the featured image and have the cover block show a featured image so I'll click post template and write cover and adding then the cover and I want to use the featured image and I want to move it up here and so I need to select the cover and start moving it to the top and it will then replace the featured image here and delete so now we have a cover block here in the top I have here then because um, I put this on top of the cover so category I want the categories here I want to add that to the top right of the cover block so if I wonder where I am I can also look down here on the bottom or I can click list view to get an overview I can also drag this up and down add things into here directly so X so what I want to do now I have the category block here we see the categories here on the side make sure that I'm in the correct place here in the block for categories I will click now the cover I want to add a CSS class into advanced here we have additional CSS classes and the, I want to add then the I have an external screen where I can see what I'm to do. I will add cover, the name class cover categories. I will save. I will then, I have also a snippet plugin that I use, but we can also use the editor and go into styles and click the pencil. The thing is we want to go over to styles here it might have been here or you just click into styles click the three dots and additional CSS I will then add code so I will for now just remove this this is actually a fallback image I added but um, I might get back to that in tutorial or I'll at least I'll do it or so in written form on my website so let's just save this we're not going to see any difference at all going back to blog home we have the cover categories here added the cover categories here the class so next thing I want to do is I want to select the categories and I want to then add a class the code I will use is uh, okay first I will add the class style category and save that and the code I'm going to use as I'm taking this from my website right now as you see here I will put that into text edit program because there are extra characters in this code right now 
So I will just put this into text edit to make sure that this is just plain text. Because there are likely characters, I figured out from last time, that there are characters in here. So I will then just paste that in here and save. I will go into the news page here on the, and refresh here. And we see the categories are in place. And let's see if it pushes the category. Did not push it here. We had that in place. I will then add the next code. And this is for the button block. I'll paste that in here. I'm making sure that there are no invisible characters here in the code. Pasting that in. And this is directly for the button. So hopefully this will now show up. And let's see. So we have the buttons in here. The thing that's missing is that we're not having the position work correctly. So it might have some invisible characters in this area here. Okay, let's see if we get this to work as it should by removing the invisible characters. And let's see what we get. Okay, so we actually right now removed the invisible characters I had in here. And now we see it working. So the next step is that I will then add in a Hoover effect. Again, I will make sure when I paste in code that I'll just do so right here. Not sure if that helps or not, but I will just so paste that in here. Let's see if we get a Hoover effect. Because if I don't get a Hoover effect, that means there's some invisible space in here that I need to remove. I'm also doing a hard refresh. And it's not showing up. So let's go and just kind of. I'm doing backspace. Okay, let's see if it works now. And be sure to do a hard refresh. I'm doing a shift to command or control R in addition to opt auto optimize. And now we see that there is a Hoover effect on these buttons. So we got that in place and let's see what it looks like then. So we see that the category is top here. Uh, and yeah, so here is missing um, featured image. So we can move this up and down as we want to. By going into the code here up here, I can do minus, for instance, 10 and saving it. And now it's moved further down. So we can have more in the corner if I want to. So I will then go, here's the gray, and this is from the overlay of these images. So I can remove the overlay, for instance. Because we have the overlay here, if I'm going to remove it and save it, and then that should now be gone. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to just add a fallback image. So I will go to my media library. I will find a fallback image I want to use. So let's say that this is a fallback image. Copy the file URL. And I will then go back into the theme, or actually go to editor, 
I will go into the styles area and do a additional CSS again and I want this here in the cover block so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna first paste in that that is the what I want to use as a fallback image and I have the code in the other side here that because this is then the finished site I have see right here and I will then show you I was just having a little bit of fun with some of the, with the fallback image because here we see the weirdness here over here of it showing up so here it shows up in the background and disappears again so let's go back into this uh, blog area I will find a code for it that I have added I have actually added that into the code snippet plugin that I use I'm using code snippet uh, pro uh, plugin that I bought a while, a while ago so I will then add this code here to the additional CSS so I'm just going to switch in the image that I paste in here with the one right here and I'm going to have a little bit of fun with it as well this code actually does a no repeat and fix center but just kind of adjust this as needed so and just make sure that this is going to work I am removing some of the space and let's see what it looks like on the front end this is now blank and now we have the concert and we see the mountains in the background as a window and that was just added as a fallback image for the featured image so this is how I added a fallback image and also how I added category labels top right